Well, nice to visit with you again. The tongue. The tongue. What a huge role it plays in human speech. Without the tongue, you can't really shape words. Oh, 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 I can't speak. And in almost a subconscious hidden way, our tongues affect what we do with the chromatic harmonica in ways that we don't think about. And we're going to talk about some of those ways. Let's talk about the use of the tongue as a controller of the gate of air that comes from your diaphragm up your trachea. This is what a sound sounds like when it's driven just by the diaphragm. But what if I allow the tongue to come close to the roof of the mouth, but not quite touching, in a shape like nya nya, because I can take verbalization mouth shapes and use them on harmonica. So that's what this sounds like. Instead of <laughs> diaphragm alone, not with that nya nya sound. Listen to the difference. The first one's diaphragm alone. Now, with the tongue shape, you can get that shape just by saying, like when you were a child. Okay? So you can control the burst of air and get a crisper start to the note. Is that of use to you? If you're a sensitive musician, which you are, of course it's of use to you. Here's another thing that's interesting. Did you know that you cannot do a bend without use of the tongue? You can approach a bend just with the lip, but a true bend requires the tongue to move up towards the roof of the mouth like this. For it is the air passing over the bent tongue that create the change in the pitch of the reed. I'll try to do a bend with my tongue at the bottom of my mouth. Can't get it. Now just with the lip, what happens then? It constricts it. It will not bend unless that tongue moves up. So, what's the message? You're already using your tongue in a lot of different ways, playing the chromatic harmonica. You use it maybe to block the notes if you're doing tongue block. blocking. Uh, you might fun little piece there. Um, so you're using your tongue now and what I'm going to say to you is that you can take your mouth shapes of verbalization like and put them on your harmonica to control things. This should be no surprise to us because one of the things that makes the harmonica as magical as anything can be 
is that it is only a few inches away from your larynx, which is your natural reed. It's an unusual reed, though, because it can change pitch over a huge number of notes, whereas a reed on harmonica may be a, at the most two whole steps, and in most players' hands, one note to a half tone off, maybe. Um, so, your tongue plays a role. Play with it. Ask yourself as you play, how am I using my tongue? Can I use shapes? Like, what happens if I go, ooh? Will ooh, on a professional instrument, will ooh sound different than ah? Let's try ooh. That's ooh. Let's try ah. Now I'll do ooh, ah, ooh. Oh yes, because ooh, ooh, the jaw goes forward and I've changed the embouchure, I've changed the shape of the mouth, and now there's a bigger resonance chamber. So, have fun playing around with sounds, and the mouth shapes of sounds applied to your chromatic heart.